they pay attention to the small details that give the town its feeling. I mean, they pay attention to the color of doors, the color of pots with flowers up against the adobe. Like it's just, I think the contrast is just so beautiful. The adobe is so rustic and earthy paired with these rich turquoise and pink and red and green colors of paint. It's just Hey guys, Mary Languish here. Thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna to be talking about my most recent trip to Santa Fe, New Mexico, which has been, believe it or not, a huge inspiration to my work for many years. So I personally grew up traveling to Santa Fe, New Mexico a lot as a kid. Um, there was quite a few years that we would go and just vacation for a long weekend or for five days or something. And so I have a lot of good memories of Santa Fe, New Mexico. I went there um, with my husband and I went there again with some friends. And of course this year we went with my family and it was just like super, super, super fun. But I wanna share with you guys some of my inspiration as an artist going to Santa Fe, what I got out of this trip and what you as an artist or creative person might also enjoy about Santa Fe, New Mexico. So Santa Fe, New Mexico is a pretty artsy town. Its aesthetic is Southwestern, um, all the adobe houses and structures, especially in the Santa Fe Plaza, everything is stucco walls. So if you don't like that type of aesthetic, you know, you might not like Santa Fe, but for me, particularly as an artsy person, I have always enjoyed that part of Santa Fe. The shadows that can be created on the stucco walls and the colors that they use to pop with that neutral brown of the stucco walls is just, it's just gorgeous and super inspiring to me and always has been. So going to Santa Fe for all the years I've been to Santa Fe, the most inspiring part to me is seeing other artists work. So walking through galleries on Canyon Road has always been a highlight for me. So there's like, I don't even know how many, I'd have to look up the number, tons of galleries on this strip, which is maybe half a mile to a mile long, both sides of the street have gallery after gallery after gallery, and they're full of different artists with so many different styles. <laughs> have loved that part of visiting Santa Fe, New Mexico. So every time I go, I'm just inspired by the art that I see, the different styles I see, and I feel like I come back with information to try new things. However, this year, I came away with a different inspiration. So, you know, having just had a child, having come off a summer of resting and getting used to baby, getting used to balance with with my art and my art business and all these things, running a house, <laughs> uh, I definitely, for my trip, felt really rejuvenated and inspired by just relaxing with my family, walking around, seeing things. Well, I didn't go into as many galleries as I would have liked to this time around. So in terms of seeing specific types of art, I didn't feel quite inspired in that sense this time, but getting out, getting the fresh air, walking around, seeing the stucco wall, seeing all of that was really inspiring. So as I walked around, I was honestly excited to get back to my own art. I wasn't really thinking, oh, I want to go home and I want to try this style. Oh, I want to go home and try that subject matter. Oh, I want to try this because I saw that there. I honestly was just super excited to come back home and work on the paintings that I was already working on and continue with what I was already working on. I felt like that was kind of a breaking point and maturity for me as an artist because it made me realize that like I do have a specific aesthetic that I like, a subject matter, a medium that I like. Um, I feel like I'm developing more of my personal style as an artist and all of that was just super encouraging to feel like I was excited to come back to my own work instead of being like, oh, I'm a bad artist, I don't know what I'm doing, all my work sucks and this stuff looks great. Like, that's not really how I felt at all, <laughs> which I guess is good. <laughs> and so I wasn't really worried about how the art I saw was gonna directly influence my art. It was more just like, there's other artists out there doing amazing stuff and I get to make stuff on a regular basis that I should be happy about and proud of and have fun with. And that's honestly the 
type of inspiration I came away with from this trip. While I was on the trip, I did do some small watercolor sketch or gouache sketches. Actually, I didn't use watercolor. I am not very confident in gouache <laughs> in case you don't know what gouache is. It's basically, I kind of like to describe it as a medium between watercolor and acrylic. It's a little bit opaque and thick like acrylic, so it can layer a little bit more, but it's movable like watercolor, liftable, but I haven't had a lot of practice with it. <laughs> so I kind of made a few, like three or four sketches with some Sharpie outline for First and then some gouache and I, it was a little frustrating because I didn't really know what I was doing in gouache but I tried it. I did bring watercolors with, I never, never touched them at all, um, but I was wanting to challenge myself with the gouache because I've seen some other artists play with gouache. I let myself play, I let myself not like my work, <laughs> but I had fun. I was able to kind of get out some creative energy while I was there, which was perfect. I personally, like I said, have been always inspired by the Southwestern style, by Santa Fe, New Mexico itself, and a lot of my work since I was 12 has been inspired by Santa Fe, New Mexico. So I have a lot of photographs that I've taken over the years of visiting there. I have a lot of work that's based on the stucco walls, the coloring, the, the landscapes, the atmosphere of Santa Fe, New Mexico and Canyon Road. Um, and so I've, I think that's just a huge part of my inspiration personally as an artist is what I get out of visiting Santa Fe, New Mexico specifically. And fun fact, the blue flower pot is a direct inspiration from Santa Fe, New Mexico based off my colored pencil drawing that I did at the age of 12 of blue pots on a staircase with flowers in it. A best-selling card. I've made prints of it. I've sold prints. It's definitely a favorite of a lot of FGI customers as well as myself and my family. And so that specific inspiration shows up in FGI's logo. Really does strongly impact my work. And so I'm really excited to see what I get out of the photos I took on this trip, which again, I took a lot. I took um, a lot of pictures of dramatic lighting on stucco walls. I took a lot of pictures of trees, of plants. I'm kind of on this tree kick, foresty kick. <laughs> and I wanted to kind of continue that. Again, I was excited about my own work, so I was really paying attention to the trees, to the lighting. I will definitely be painting from some photos that I took while I was there. It truly is the land of enchantment. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this inspiring. I hope you get a chance to visit Santa Fe, New Mexico and soak in all the amazing inspiration and hopefully it'll feed into your work. And give this a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.